Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski. All right, Greg, welcome back to the Bradley Center in Milwaukee. Our first round finale into the East Rutherford bracket. Third seeded and Big East regular season champion Pittsburgh against Atlantic Sun champion Central Florida. Winner of this game moves on to take on Wisconsin as you take a look at the starting lineup for the Panthers, anchored by Carl Krauser, the do everything point man for this team. And for Central Florida, a team that relies heavily on Dexter Lyons. Kirk Spiro, outstanding player back in the day for Lute Olson, coached under Lon Kruger as an assistant. Now in his 11th year, has really turned Central Florida into a quality basketball program. And Jamie Dixon, all he did was win 18 in a row to begin his career as a head coach after taking over for Ben Howland. Our officials, Mike Sanzer, Winston Stith, and the veteran Charlie Range. Tim, I think it's critical for UCF to get some confidence early, especially from the perimeter against a very good defensive team in Pitt. And the Panthers want to uh, impose their physical will on this ball club. We've had three very competitive games here in Milwaukee today. We'll see about the fourth. So many people have uh, been anticipating that Wisconsin Pittsburgh matchup. You know what Richmond did for a good 25 minutes of the 40 minute game earlier. Brown can't hit off of the front iron. Central Florida is only one of 15 teams to have 25 wins this year. You'll see constant motion and a lot of memories of what Lon Kruger did as a collegiate coach. And of course, by the way, Lon is on his way to the college game again with the uh, UNLV running Rebels. And there's Roberto Morantine, young man from Spain, who is very difficult to guard in the low block. Right, it's fun to watch. He's a very much a throwback player. He's got very fundamentally sound moves in the low post, can shoot the 15-foot jump shot. He and Josh Bodden work very well together. Yvonne Trotman with a nice feed to Taft. Quarantine the rebound. Cook outlet Gary Johnson. This is a team made up of a number of junior college transfers that have really blended beautifully. Here's another example. Gary Johnson from Wayne, Michigan. Transferred from the Schoolcraft Community College. First couple of shots. UCF able to knock down. Talked about gaining the confidence. Johnson has grown into that point guard role. A little bit of a shaky start there, especially handling. Browser, not there. Long rebound to Lyons. Senior with a lot of flair. And the throwback due. Not this time. Browser retrieves it right on the end line. There's a steal by Johnson. Watch Pitt, and uh, when they're not turning the ball over, very deliberate in the half court. They will grind through the shot clock as well, get offensive rebounds, and do it again. Josh Bodden setting the high pick for Lions. Good feed to Morantini. Nice duck under. The kind of move you're talking about that seemingly all of the international players have. That's what makes them so difficult to guard at times? Just get to spend so much more time with their coaches, and that's been a big issue. I know they, uh, you know, you talk to college coaches in this country, they wish they could spend more time in the offseason teaching their players. But uh, Morantine, the whole package, as I say, great up and under fake, but wasn't able to pay it off. Jaron Brown, veteran, 24 years of age. Outside, Page can't hit. There's Brown. And he's fouled on the putback. You know, Tim, you're going to watch Jerron Brown play in this game. And Krauser is the guy at the end of the shot clock who makes things happen. But Jerron Brown is very much like a point guard in this offense. They'll dump the ball down to him in the low post, and he'll make plays. They're a very good interior passing team. Jerron, along with two others, Page and Lori Morris, have played more games in school history than anyone at Pittsburgh. Brown 135, Page 134, starting 126 of them, and Morris 129. You know, Mike Ray made the comment earlier about Pittsburgh. They graduate guys and they get older. <laughs> How does that happen? Quarantine <laughs> giving up the Lions. Johnson on the wing. Quarantine. That one tapped away by Brown, covered by Page. 
Pro Frouser, it's been said, and I believe it, is, is a guard that a number of young, explosive point guards coming into college basketball should watch. Troutman knocks down the three-pointer. He is a marksman. He shot 66% this year, an incredible 72% last year. And you'll see him mostly working inside, but uh, stretching out the uh, defense a little bit that time with an 18-footer. Quarantine, no double coming. They're going to continue to go to him. He's got to get those to fall. But well, I feel like any, if you're Pitt, you probably think that you can stay at home with your interior defenders with Taft and Troutman and, and play one-on-one -on -one and not have to double team. Troutman again. Good rotation just inside the arc for the two-pointer. Really doesn't shoot the ball that well from the perimeter, only 20% from behind the arc, and he just had his big toe over the line, or that would have been a triple. Brown shadowing Lions. We've not seen him get in a position to make a difference offensively. He's only launched one shot. You see, they come out to help on him. Gary Johnson looking down low. There's Morantine again. The hook that won't fall. He's missed three in a row now. Four and a half gone by here in our finale. And a foul will go against Siobhan Troutman. Clearing out his first. Amy Dixon looks on with a wry smile. Hey, Dad. Yep. You remember the other day when we were talking about careers and stuff? Mm-hmm. When you said the trick is to find something that fits who you are and what's important to you? Mm-hmm. Something that makes you feel good about yourself? Tone, if you find something that does all that, you're already miles ahead of most people. LeBron James is here, and we'll have a, you know, something like that. Let's just run through it. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, I think it's sold out, actually. Let me just start like that. Whoa! Are, are you guys rolling on this? That's a 90-footer. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, my. Did you get that? You have that, right? Imagine steak and shrimp, or shrimp and steak. Imagine having both of these on just one plate. Applebee's new steak and shrimp double features. Get happy. So happy together. Ba, ba, ba. Critics are calling Taking Lives an erotic, suspenseful, and chillingly scary film. Hitchcock would be proud. Ebert and Rubber give it two thumbs up. Help me! Taking Lives. Rated R. Now playing in a theater near you. Wednesday on a special night. What's in this drink that's making Mogo Mogo fly high? This is so good to be quiet. Survivor All-Stars on a special night, CBS Wednesday. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis in New York. We'll get you back to Central Florida, Pittsburgh momentarily. First, let's check into what's happening in Columbus. UAB Blazers and the Huskies of Washington. The Blazers with the early lead here. What do we look for in this game, Clark? Well, the Blazers average 12 steals a game, Greg, and they've already turned over UAB a handful of times and converted those turnovers into 11 points. So that's one of the things to look for. And then Washington has to take care of the ball, obviously, and get into their trans transition game with good rebounds. We know UAB likes to get up and down the floor. Floor, but they're pretty crisp offensively so far. Nine for 13 from the floor. Washington maybe got to clamp down that defense a little bit. Lorenzo Romar has brought an exciting Huskies team into this tournament, and this 8-9 matchup should prove to be pretty typical of what we've seen in the tournament so Without far. Without question. These are two teams that play an entertaining style. One of the problems for Washington, though, has been their inability to really stop people defensively. The opposition shoots 48% against them on a regular basis. 
All right, we're having a question out of the game now as to whether or not there was a three-point field goal that was good or not. Right now, it's a 24-16 lead for UAB. In Kansas City, Illinois, Chicago against the fourth seed Kansas Jayhawks. What do we look for here, Seth? I want to see if Kansas can handle the mental toughness of Illinois, Chicago. They should have a significant size advantage inside, but those kids from Chicago, I think, are going to want to attack the Jayhawks, knock them back on their heels a little bit. Exactly, and with their quickness, they're able to do that they're not as big as Kansas is up front but clearly they've got ex excellent athletes out on the perimeter and their speed and ability to pressure the ball could be a problem for the Jayhawks we've had two 12 seeds and a 10 seed move up from the first round so far in action Illinois Chicago a 13 seed looking to do the same exactly and again when you've got good backcourt players in Bailey and Banks which they have they've got a chance to do that all right in Orlando Louisville and Xavier this was the first of the four late games to get underway and Louisville would have four-point lead. Louisville's been solid at the start, but Xavier, one of the hottest teams coming into the tournament, is now starting to make a little bit of a run. Louisville had close to a double-digit lead, and Xavier just staying patient, doing what they do, get it inside, and ride the good play of Romain Sato. What are you looking for in this game, Seth? Well, you know, this is just great guard play. I love to watch it. You have Chalmers and Sato for Xavier, obviously Taekwon Dean and Francisco Garcia for Louisville. And uh, they like to get up and down the floor, see who's going to turn it over, who's going to make their shots. All right, guys, we'll keep track. Let's get you back to Milwaukee, Central Florida, and Pitt, Tim Brando and Mike Janinski. And this is C Central Florida, ahead by four with 13.24 to play. Out to a quality start here in Wisconsin. Oh, hey, Stu, you tired? No. Hey, Stu, waxed your back? Not lately. Hey, Stu, did you take care of that rash? Nope. Whoa, you're going commando. No. Did you see your... No, I saw my bartender. He told me to try this. If you want to have it all, great taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light, talk to your bartender. Great taste, less filling Miller Light. Good call. Disciplined investing. At T. Rowe Price, it's not just about the short term. It's about a steady, long-term approach. Over 65% of our mutual funds beat their 1, 5, and 10-year Lipper averages. A disciplined, long-term approach. Low-cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. You have the right truck. The best selling half ton regular. And extended cab is now available as a crew cab. Introducing the new Silverado half ton crew. It's the right truck from Chevy. Like a You, you take me, I take you, you take me, we take each other, that's proving, oh yeah. See why critics say Century City is wonderfully cast with genuinely compelling stories. I'm glad she has you on her side. Century City on a special night, CBS Saturday. been a lot of talk about Pittsburgh getting a very tough seed. Now, in order to not get distracted and not wonder about all those what-ifs, they had this t-shirt made saying, we all, we got, which says to them and the rest of the world, it's up to us. It's not about the seed or where we play. We control our own destiny. That's sort of the theme of our crew, isn't it, Mike? I don't know if the English Department of Pittsburgh signed off on that, but the sentiment certainly has been taken to heart by this ball club. I think they ran it by their former uh, publicist, Pino Cook, a time or two, though. Krauser can't hit. Pulled down by Lyons, who's been very active on the glass, coming off of his first three-pointer. Quarantine, who 
hit his first. Now trying to go to the pass. Gary Johnson recovers it. Doesn't appear as confident to take the shot once the entry pass is made. Lions took an extra step. Good defensive work by Brown. And they'll go to their bench. Antonio Graves, the freshman from Mansfield, Ohio, coming in for the Panthers. And Julius Page sits down. And Warrington, after that initial flurry, he's been looking to make plays out of the post instead of score. I think a little frustrated by those early misses. Warrington played at San Jacinto Junior College. Well, that has been a dynasty at the junior college level for some time. Sometimes you have to mix and match at the mid-major level as a UCF. And uh, Kirk Spiro has done a remarkable job with that. Outstanding recruiting job done by the likes of Tom Schubert on that staff. Veteran assistant coach of many years. Krauser for three. Dangerous enough that you have to pay attention to him. And I just think he saw that that possession a little dead in the water, Tim. He backed up and hoisted up the three. Off the ball, Morantine and Morris get tied up. Corey Morris will pick up the foul. Very physical player, as is this entire team. And the young men from Orlando out to a good start. I'm wanted in four states, but it's all good. Got me new driver's license and a sweet new pickup. V8, baby, 500 horsepower. Oh, and four of them mud flaps with the naked ladies on them. Brrr. Mamacita. And the best part is, it's all free. Yeah, well, for me at least. <laughs> city Identity Theft Solutions. Free with any city card. Help getting your life back? That's using your card wisely. Nationwide, we're never far away. Unless, of course, you'd like us to be. Courtyard, our rooms were made for you. There's glory for the individuals who come together for a common goal. You tame the elusive beast of time and space, bringing together offices from every corner of the globe, working in real time as if shoulder to shoulder. Microsoft Office System. Go team. 10 to 9, UCF with the lead. Follow the game on CBS Sports Line's Game Center and get more than just the game. Get play-by-play -play coverage as it happens without having to refresh the page. Check it out at CBSSportsLine.com. And you see the Badgers looking on, everyone anticipating the Second round matchup against the Pittsburgh Panthers. I'll tell you, they had to work a little harder than perhaps they thought they would against Richmond earlier tonight. And maybe upon reflection, you know, think about it, maybe not. I mean, as good a defensive team as, as Richmond has proved to be over the course of this season. Well, kudos to Jerry Wainwright and the game plan coming in. Jump hook won't go for Dob Botten, and a foul, the end result going to go against Banikowski over the back. Will Banikowski, sophomore from Gibbsboro, New Jersey. And there you see the numbers from three-point range. Both have hit a couple. UCF doing a nice job on the boards. And that's the X factor. Pitt is not known as a three-point shooting team. That's not part of their arsenal, but uh, UCF averages about eight makes per game, and uh, that could be a valuable weapon for them. It has to be in this game for them to be a factor. Defense! 
McCarroll on the floor along with Brown. Krauser shot clock now to seven. High pick from Morris. Time for Krauser to create. Morris had to give it up or he would have traveled. Botten comes away with it. And Krauser's the guy with uh, less than 10 seconds on the shot clock. He's the guy who's going to make things happen in the paint area. Dexter Lyons with a jump stop. Out to Banikowski. And uh, Banikowski can't hit. Krauser again, he's got so many gears. Draws the contact. Very difficult to guard when he drives the baseline or goes into the painted area. He's relentless. Foul goes against Kingsley Edwards, the junior from Brooklyn, New York. Wholesale substitutions for Pittsburgh is Taft and Troutman re enter. Carroll leaves the game, as does Tori Morris. Also, Krauser checks out, and Julius Page back in the game. A short bench for Jamie Dixon. He'll play about seven guys in rotation. Not particularly deep, but very tough, this Pittsburgh team. And because of the pace that they play, Tim, they don't have to be real deep. You know, they true. play a very slow, deliberate game. It's not up and down where it's really going to get into their legs. They'll grind it out. They're content to play in the 60s. In the NCAA tournament, the depth is not always the factor it would be, say, for instance, in a conference tournament playing games day after day after day. As you see, the easy one for Trotman, who's been very effective, Three out of three from the floor for Siobhan. Plus you get a little longer timeout. Yep. You know, each timeout is a little extra rest there, and it all adds up. No, you're exactly right. I mean, you can you can go in. There are a lot of teams that have made long runs with six or seven guys. Yeah. Baden falling away. I've oftentimes said you can tell the the higher seeded teams generally take advantage of that entire timeout. And a lot of times the lower seeds that are not accustomed to that timeout period lasting as long are out on the floor for about 30 seconds to a minute. Well, I think it's it's also the excitement of being here. Oh, yeah. Too. yeah I mean, those programs are, are used to playing in the spotlight, and uh, those that aren't are, I mean, this is, you know, this is, this is what it is. I mean, it's one of 64. You see the numbers for Troutman versus the rest of the team. Everyone else from Pittsburgh a little indifferent early on. There's Taft on the glass. Freshman of the year in the Big East this year has really had a huge impact on this program. Great shot blocker, good on the offensive glass. You saw Lyons try to get free that time. So many times he just beats the opposition down the floor. But Pittsburgh so adept defensively, they always have the floor balanced. Bodden. Pittsburgh just absolutely not doubling down on the low block. Warrantine has been out of the game for some time. Here's Kingsley Edwards. Tough shot. And Bakanowski with a rebound. Trying to isolate Dexter Lyons. Tough shot again. Loose ball pulled out by Tab. Elected not to go over the top of the screen that time. Page will stay with him. Count it and a foul. Bakanowski with the foul. And Troutman has just been unstoppable. Talk about selective running, and that's what Pitt did on this play. They get the defensive stop. Siobhan Troutman just very strong. And, Tim, you laid out his uh, gaudy field goal percentage numbers beforehand, 66% on the year. Right on his average already. He's just one of those guys, he, he gets to lose balls, he turns them into turnovers or points. He's one of those guys that allows Jamie Dixon to get easy baskets. All good teams seem to get them. Right, that's, a, you know, through running through that offense, they're very patient. They will take very few bad shots in the course of the game. They've had a couple of heel early, but when they're disciplined and running through their half-court stuff, it normally turns into a positive possession. Page will be whistled for the foul. Jamie Dixon, what a tremendous career he's had in just a very short time. And I think well deserving of the uh, opportunity of 40 minutes. A number of players went to bat for him to get this job. As a matter of fact, we sought the chancellor out and were very vocal uh, in their opinion of, of keeping Dixon. Page ran across campus to meet with the chancellor one day when he identified him. Chris Taft with six rebounds for Pittsburgh. Brown with the ball fake, tries to pierce the double team, and in so doing, 
travels. Central Florida trailing by four. 7.47 remaining here in the opening half from Milwaukee. Why do we work? Why do we get up every day and go to work? Because we make things, fix things, send our kids off to learn things. At the Principal Financial Group, we know you don't just work to retire, you work to live. That's why we give people the financial tools to help them keep more of the money they make and do more with the money they save. You work hard. We make work work hard for you. The Principal Financial Group. We understand what you're working for. Is it true that you guys do more brake jobs than anyone else? Yes. And are my pads and shoes really guaranteed for as long as I own my car? Yes. Even if it's 20 more years? Absolutely. Do you ever cry at weddings? No. Visit your neighborhood Midas Mechanic now for lifetime guaranteed brake pads or shoes. Just $89.95, including installation. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. For mechanics known for their work and their word, trust the Midas touch. A beautiful thing about women, they don't sweat like a guy. Arm & Hammer Ultramax Antiperspirant Gel. It's made just for guys. Superior odor protection versus the leading gel at 8, 12, even 24 hours. That's all the muscle a man needs. Ultramax Gel. You're really trying to live healthy, but using a highly abrasive toothpaste? Huh? Use Arm & Hammer Advance White with baking soda. It cleans while gently dissolving stains. Teeth get three shades whiter with just one tube. Advance White, a healthy way to white. I pull for the underdog. I yell at the coaches, blast oh, the refs. On. I pray, curse, cry. I will drop down on my knees and beg for a three-pointer from half court. Play your way to the NCAA Final Four with Singular. You can be entered weekly for a trip for two every time you send and receive a text, instant, or a multimedia message. And every time you download games and ringtones. The more you do, the better your chances. Yeah, baby. Play your way to the NCAA Final Four. Another way Singular fits you best. Will the family find a cure for Race Brothers' little eating problem? Why don't you get one of those funnels the dogs wear around their neck and just <laughs> throw the food in there? A new Raymond CBS Monday. Central Fault, Florida trailing by four. Tim Brando, Mike Kaminsky, Heather Cox here in Milwaukee. And after starting with a uh, two out of two number from the floor, the... Golden Knights have really struggled. They're three for 15, and Pittsburgh's defense has been suffocating in their half court. Uh, it's just one of the best defensive teams in the country, Tim. They hold opponents to 38.6 on the year, which is a very impressive number, especially playing against Big East competition. Baden who has played 120 straight games, turns it over for Central Florida. Kirk Spiro has uh, mixed and matched beautifully. You know, they lost a couple of outstanding players, Joey and Stevie Graham, now at Oklahoma State. The transfers, Josh Botten has really become a leader for this team, and guys like Gary Johnson, Avon, and Kingsley Edwards have just blended in so well. It's a different kind of task for a coach when he has to bring in that many JCs. I know of a number of coaches that are having to coach junior college players, maybe uh, a great deal for the first time, guys like Bobby Knight. Right, you know, you look at it, one thing that uh, Kirk said to us yesterday, the chemistry was uh, evident immediately with this ball club. They just, yep. it was there right from day one, and that certainly has helped their cause. Now we'll go against Bodden. His second. Let's see, let's see if, let's, if through this, Tim, if uh, if Morantin can have a better tour of duty after having sat out for a little bit, collected his thoughts. Uh, they need him to be a part of the offense inside. Yeah, his confidence was shaken, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and, you know, the, the, the more effective he can be, the, the more opportunities there are going to be for people out on the perimeter. Josh Peppers and Dexter Lyons will come in. After the free throw. Sunday on CBS, when Americans are taken hostage, they turn to this man to rescue them. Russell Crowe, Meg Ryan, and David Caruso star in the network premiere of Proof of Life. Sunday on CBS, America's most watched network. I turn for you for that. <laughs> Whenever I want Proof of Life, I just turn to you. Thank you. <laughs> Morantine reels it in. 
You have spent a few weekends with me this year. <laughs> yes, I have. Enjoyed every one of them. Peppers on the floor for the first time, number 30. Pittsburgh on an 11 2 run the last 634. Lions with a quick release, can't get it to fall. Troutman the rebound. That's a tough shot. He fumbled the ball and burned his dribble, so he had to settle for the jump shot. Now they're really fortunate they're only down five during this stretch. But uh, Pittsburgh, other than Troutman, not exactly lighting it up either. No, but you know, Tim, in, in fairness, Pitt's not a team that's going to run away and hide from you offensively True. either. Peppers on the boards. Again, another chippy missed. Well, Central Florida has missed at least three shots from point blank range. On the jump stop, tapped, and they uh, have the basket interference inside the zone. You got to walk prior to that. Yes, sixth turnover committed by Pittsburgh. Just a little sloppy on the offensive end. You know, just some, some miscommunication and Taft that time I think could have gone up strongly with the basketball. He felt like he had to come up from the other uh, other side. You see the scoring drought for UCF over the last 340. Look at the job Brown is doing off the ball shadowing lines. Trying to run him through picks and he manages to get through them. There's Morin Dean using the glass nicely. After that long drought, they're only down three. Yeah, and that's unfortunately, Tim. You know, I think that Pitt's a team that can sustain droughts like that uh, just because of their defensive capabilities. A little tougher for UCF to go for stretches without scoring in this game. Page off the curl. Peppers the rebound. You can see that UCF is fundamentally sound walking out on the defensive end. Something that uh, Richmond really impressed us with. Most of the game against Wisconsin tonight. Lions can't get it to fall. I think if Pitt keeps settling for jump shots in this offense, it plays into UCF's hands. Krauser. One for six from the floor for Carl Krauser. Really frustrated. Johnson looking for some spacing to get Lions on track. Quarantine, nice move. Does get a little shooter's touch that time. He has six, and UCF to within one. Yeah, better, you see, coming in, sometimes a little time on the bench to gather your thoughts, helps you as a player. Quarantine, more confident in his last two post moves, able to get him going, to go down. Age follows his own shot, and uses the bank. One out of six for him. His uh, first field goal of the night. Much of this Wisconsin crowd is hung around. Lions fading away and too quick with that one. Coming up on singular at the half, Greg Gumble and Clark Kellogg along with Seth Davis. To get you updated on all the tournament news, plus a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament and the singular one-on-one -on -one Billy Packer trivia challenge all coming up on singular at the half. I think it's knowledgeable Wisconsin crowd wants to get a little scouting yeah. report on the Pitt Panthers if that's who they face. It's a game that frankly a number of people have suggested should be a, a regional final as opposed to a second round game. An injustice perhaps of uh, poor seating for the Big Ten and uh, poor location for Pittsburgh. A pretty strong 3-6 uh, matchup if it goes on to, if it plays out that way. I'll say. Josh Peppers picks up that foul. One thing about it, I give Jamie Dixon a lot of credit. You, a lot of the media in Pittsburgh and here tried to goad him into saying something about having to come to Wisconsin to play. He'd have none of it. It, it, it is what it is, Tim, and you know, you deal with it, and I think as a coach, if you elect, the more you say about it, the bigger an issue it becomes. If you leave it alone, it goes away. Dixon is one of those no-nonsense guys. I mean, when, when you talk to Jamie, you get the feeling that he may be listening to you, but he's already thinking about 30 seconds ahead. <laughs> A lot of coaches have that habit. Maybe that's why they're so successful. So, Dad, there's something I need to tell you. How much is this going to cost me? No, it's not like that. 
Is it the motorcycle thing again? It's not the motorcycle. It's about what you said the other day. About doing something for myself. Maybe something important. OK, go ahead. Great teams are often forged over the hot coals of adversity. On the eve of the big meeting, the third quarter numbers suddenly changed. But so did your presentation, automatically. You have the new Microsoft Office system. It's a Cinderella story. A beautiful thing about women, they don't sweat like a guy. Arm & Hammer Ultramax Antiperspirant Gel. It's made just for guys. Superior odor protection versus the leading gel at 8, 12, even 24 hours. That's all the muscle a man needs. Ultramax Gel. You're really trying to live healthy, but using a highly abrasive toothpaste? Huh? Use Arm & Hammer Advanced White with baking soda. It cleans while gently dissolving stains. Teeth get three shades whiter with just one tube. Advanced White, a healthy way to white. Quick, in the top five water polo players in the world. Okay, how about one? Yeah. I didn't start playing water polo to get famous. And the same goes for being a biology major. I like working in protein chemistry. Quick, in the top five protein chemists in the world. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. As you look at our game summary, I think the critical aspect here is that uh, the rebounding story is almost equal. And you know what? You look at these two teams, and the numbers are very similar, and especially rebounding the ball. It's, both of them are about a plus five on the year. Uh, against the difference is level of competition, and I think the size of the players <laughs> no. that, that uh, are, are on both teams. Well, the thing about uh, UCF that has to impress you is that they went through a period where they could not buy a basket. Morantine was... Uh, so unsuccessful he needed to go to the bench and I think it was a wise move by Kirk Spiro to put him there he's come back a changed man yep, now he's feeling a little bit more comfortable about himself he's been more aggressive Let's see if it continues quarantine right on cue rejected but count the basket see he wants the ball now you can sense that there's a level of confidence that uh, just wasn't there you know, Tim, a lot of players in the post don't have the confidence with their weak hand, but Morantin has felt comfortable going with his left hand into the lane. Four out of seven. There are eight points for Morantin. And another unforced error. Offensive foul on McCarroll that yeah, time. Just a lack of concentration by Mark McCarroll, the junior from Christ the King High in Queens, New York. You look to one of the reasons why St. John's has struggled so mightily of late in the Big East. It might be because of teams like Pittsburgh that have gone into the Bronx and the Queens and uh, picked out a number of outstanding players. No question about it. The uh, shortcomings of the recruiting in city has really uh, oh, yeah. that St. John's paid a heavy price for that. And I think more than anything else that is going to weigh the, the most heavily on the selection committees whoever they get to fill that job that person is tied in mm -hmm. to the network of new york there's the look inside and you can't reach in that situation I and mean, morris doesn't like it but that's a cheap foul you're out of position you're trying to uh, overcome that by reaching in and nine times out of ten the referees are going to call that and his reaction was worthy of jamie dixon getting him out of the game pepper's a leaner Quarantine the offensive rebound. Avon getting it up to Peppers and Kirk Spiro calls for the play. Gary Johnson will initiate it. Double stack trying to get him free. Pittsburgh handles it pretty nicely. Diggs very active for Pittsburgh getting out, hedging on the screen and allowing the defender to get back. You'll see a lot of double screens from a Kirk Spiro coach team as Peppers dragged his pivot foot, turned it over. That's their fifth. And so much of what you see out of him is reminiscent of the coaching pedigree, having been with Lute Olson as a player at Iowa and with Lon Kruger at Florida. Well, it only makes sense. You know, you, you 
who work with those coaches so closely and they're such great teachers and have great systems and things that they do that the can't help but by osmosis pick that up and feel comfortable with it and when you have a chance to get your own program those are the people that you rely on Troutman who's easily been the most effective offensive force in this game Krauser and Page only one out of six each Krauser with a nice dish Troutman fouled by Bakanowski and uh, he's picked up three already you know, if there's one thing, and we haven't talked about it yet, if there's a weakness with this pit team, it's at the free throw line. Yeah. And, and it, is that going to be something that's going to surface in the uh, as the tournament goes along? Only 65% as a team. And uh, Troutman, a 60% clip himself. Monday on CBS, the key evidence from a crime scene is stolen. Now, CSI Miami must find it or killer walks. Don't miss a new episode Monday on CBS. He has been the story, there's no doubt about that. Gets one of the two, has 11 on the night. And the largest lead has only been five for both teams. When you think about it, this is a, a bracket. If you had it, you were thinking about scoring productivity. Well, Take the under. How about that? <laughs> There's the under. Look at the defensive numbers that these four teams have uh, put up. And here's the uh, rank right over here. Nobody 24th in the NCAA yeah. is the worst number out there. Three of them in the top 10. Morantine gives it up to Peppers. Oh, the hands of Velcro by Troutman, picking that one out of the air. And Page had it from Krauser. Perfect dish. Julius a little upset with himself. The eighth turnover committed by Jamie Dixon's team. You won't see a steady diet of it, but this pit team will run selectively, especially when they get a turnover. Unable to convert on that rush up the floor, though. Boy, they've really done the job on Lions, haven't they? It's been a non-factor. Johnson for three. Rebound cleared by Trotman. Well, a lot of times, you know, when you don't have an, a lot of other options out on the perimeter, you can surgically take a guy out of the ball game, and as good as Pitt is defensively, uh, you know, you want to try to do that to the extent that you can with Lions, averaging 18 and a half points per game. If you neutralize him, it makes it puts a big onus on people who aren't used to scoring. Avon gambled and lost. Troutman still double teamed. Out of bounds. Off of Siobhan. Central Florida will have it with the shot clock off. Well, Kirk Spiro's got to be pleased with the way his team has played, particularly since they have not shot that well. No, 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 no question about it. And, uh, you know, sitting here, 22-18. Uh, Another three versus uh, 14 matchup, and it's been highly competitive here in the first half. Johnson tried to do it himself, stolen by Brown. They have been downright defensive, haven't they? Here at halftime, a four-point Pittsburgh lead back to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, Tim, and we'll take you from Milwaukee to Columbus, Ohio. In the past three years, the Pittsburgh Panthers have become the fourth most successful football and basketball program in America. Now you can be there to back your hometown team. Great seats are available for exciting college football at Heinz Field at last year's remarkable low prices. Buy an entire season of six great Panthers football games, including Nebraska and West Virginia, for less than $100. Buy your 2004 season tickets at 2003 prices. Act now while great seats are still available. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. 
Autotrader.com. Michelob Ultra. And by Pontiac. Seven fewer points have been scored in the first half of this game than in any other of the games played in the 2004 NCAA basketball tournament. Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski, it has been a case of the iron unkind. No, no question uh, for both teams, Tim. And I think for Pitt, they've been a little casual with yeah, the basketball. Nine have. turnovers. And you look at their point guard, Kyle Krauser, three turnovers, no assists for him. So that's got to turn. Take a look at the halftime numbers. You could say there have been a few clanks early on in this game. And not for lack of opportunities for UCF, especially at point blank range. The free throw is a big story. Central Florida has not attempted a free throw in this game. However, they are hanging there on the boards with Pitt and the leading scorers. Uh, Warrantine, after a tough early go, has found his rhythm. And uh, Siobhan Troutman, 11 points. He's 4 of 4. The rest of the team, 3 of 16 from the field. It is amazing to think, though, that Kirk Spiro's team has been able to board with this Pittsburgh club. And not only has Lions not been able to get to the free throw line, but uh, no one has from Central Florida. You would have expected him to get there just off the dribble. No, and it's it just a testament to, and we talked, remember, earlier in the, uh, in the Wisconsin game about how well they move their feet and don't foul. Yeah. Pittsburgh's doing the same thing here, really closing off driving lanes and, and not reaching. So the, there's not a lot there for UCF. Quarantine played well. Early and late, not so well in the middle of the game for UCF. He's doubled this time. Lions misses an easy one. Taft pulls it out of there. That's nine rebounds for him. At least so, I mean, you like the fact the Lions was aggressive in trying to make something happen. And the foul will go against Morantine inside as Pittsburgh's Chris Taft, the freshman, who meant so much to this team this year, rookie of the year in the Big East Conference. Not out to a very good start tonight. You know, it's interesting. We have the minimum number of points in a half scored by two teams in this tournament to this point, that being only 40. And yet, Central Florida doing so much so so well on the offensive uh, boards that they've had second chance opportunities. Jamie Dixon's Got to be a little concerned about how sloppy his offense has been in its half-court set. Well, coming off a uh, their fourth consecutive Big East championship game, which uh, ties record and only the second team to do that. Uh, maybe a little bit of a hangover left from that against a tough team, a tough game against UConn. Well, this is the this five-point lead had equaled the largest of the night. And just that quickly, Gary Johnson ends that. The junior out of Wayne, Michigan, Wayne Memorial High. Another one of the junior college transfers from the Schoolcraft Community College. Well, that being said, Tim, I mean, this pit team is not afraid to play in a low scoring no, game. I mean, you know, it's just that the fact that they're sitting here at 22 is not a big deal to them. No, it isn't. Krauser. And his hands very quick. Getting into the passing lane that time. Not one point off the bench for either team. Now granted, Pittsburgh's not that deep. Central Florida perhaps even a bit deeper than Pittsburgh in terms of the number of uh, players that are in the rotation of Kirksboro. And an unforced error there by Lyons. Actually, Brown had a little something to do with it, but a lack of concentration did as well. We talked about Lions averaging 18 and a half points and how they've taken him out. Another guy who Pitt really has quieted is Josh Bowden, you know, who has not been a part of the offense. He's their other double-figure scorer. So with both of them out, it's put a lot of pressure on them and been trying to find ways to manufacture points. Yeah, Bowden has been a non-factor, and over the back is Tad. You know, he's really been the leader of this team because there are so many junior college players on this roster after... Joey and Stevie Graham left for Oklahoma State. Now his dad played college ball at uh, Bodden's at McNeese State in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and at the University of Houston. His dad is here for tonight's game. And quite a nice contingent of uh, fans from Orlando on hand to watch this game. They have a nice facility down there erected uh, 
just prior to the arrival of Kirk Spiro. I love the name of the uh, student fans they have there. They call them Kirk's Jerks. <laughs> <laughs> I gather they're rather vociferous. <laughs> Who came up with that one? I don't, I don't think it was Kirk. No. Taft is rejected, but there is a push underneath. Pittsburgh with its largest lead of the night of six in a game that has been, uh, as we said earlier, downright defensive. Josh Bodden picking up the foul, his third. Central Florida has not gotten to the free throw line all night long. You get the sense here, Tim, that in this game, the Pitts even starting to extend their defense more and then looking to run a little bit as a result of it to get some easy baskets. What we've noticed from UCF is that uh, defensively they've been able to match the intensity of Pittsburgh, but they have expended so much energy there that they've been unable to get anything done on the offensive end. Morantine got caught in midair and picks up the foul. Roberto second. And Julius Page will get to the line. Interesting that you look at uh, Dexter Lyons, number four in black, and he's he's got the throwback hair, sort of retro. <laughs> and yet it's uh, Julius Page at the line that was named after Dr. J. <laughs> We saw him, uh, Lions, uh, yesterday at practice uh, was was all braided up, so we weren't treated to this uh, particular hairstyle, special for the event tonight. That's the NCAA tournament. You you bring the goods. Absolutely. You taught me that. <laughs> You've had a pretty good rookie showing. <laughs> How about doing four in one day? Quarantine <laughs> <laughs> takes it to the rack and is fouled. And at long last, they're going to get a, perhaps to the line. Let's go to Heather Cox. Well, Tim, Roberto Marantine, it's from Spain, and he's wearing a black band on his jersey to acknowledge the families over for the 200 killed in the terrorist bombings in Madrid on March 11th. Those bombings occurred just 100 miles from his hometown on a route his family takes every week. So certainly paying tribute to all of those families in mourning right now, guys. Yes, and you know, in so many ways, we hear these stories. Unspoiled in their approach. Players of uh, Morantine's caliber. Generally speaking, always mean a great deal for the rebirth of a program. And Central Florida had gone through some difficult times until this season. Spiro had a number of uh, championship teams early. Now well, they've got it going again in the Atlantic Sun. Lions giving it up to Johnson. There's Krauser, always in the way defensively. Bodden with a near steal. Three minutes gone by here in the second half. Pittsburgh with a four-point lead. Well, Kentucky was challenged in the first half tonight by Florida A&M. Yeah, the short spikes out for that one. It really did. That was headed for 120 to 100 yeah. and a half. I think UAB and uh, Washington are headed in the same direction. Over 50 scored by both of those teams in the first half. Brown can't connect. Trotman and Bodden got hooked up. Foul will go against Siobhan, his second. And we don't mean to underplay the defensive capabilities of UCF, Tim. I mean, they a little short on the resume as far as tournament teams. They played one, but that game was against Florida on a neutral court, and they held that team to 59 points while they were averaging close to 100 early in the year. Trotman picked up his third. So he has to sit down. And Mark McCarroll back on the floor, the junior from Queens, New York. Age is really struggling from the floor. In his last eight games, he's 14, 14 of four. Check that, four of 32. That's 12 percent. Quarantine rejected by Tab. That officially qualifies as a slump. Yes. Browser, a little stop and go. Fouled by Johnson on the reach in. Make sure you vote for your starting center on the Pontiac All Tournament team. You can cast your ballot now at NCAAsports.com slash Pontiac. Age. 
A little too long. Trying to find his way out of that slump. Robert Ross picking Robert up Ross. that foul. Yes, he picks up the uh, foul for Central Florida. Just into the game. Browser was looking to go pick and roll with Taft, and Central Florida show was just a little too good. And Page runs out of real estate. They have cut off the baseline, haven't they? They have a good job. Morantine, a nice show on that screen roll, too. No doubt about it. There's a feeling in my heart that I can't explain. Is this love? The look in your eyes, I just can't explain. Is this love? I lose myself out to be. So tomorrow, will you feel the same? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Now, Cinder. Taken by Al Cinder. How about that? Two more for the big guy. Here comes the move. Ready to now. Al Cinder, unstoppable. Here comes the move. Who Al Cinder is something else. Now you like me now, I say. Think he's good enough to make the Pontiac All-Time Tournament team? You decide at NCAAsports.com slash Pontiac. Well, we're looking for an easy way to stay in touch. Because I want to know what, uh, uh... Audrey. Audrey is doing. And you too, Dennis. Randy. Randy, with a swimming. Lacrosse. Lacrosse. So it's a problem. Yeah. I got just what you're looking for. Bring your number to Sprint and get unlimited night minutes starting at 7 p.m. And right now, get unlimited anytime minutes for the first two months on select new service plans starting at $50. Sprint PCS. from the Hartford for people who are always thinking ahead. Ask your advisor. There it is! Nick Valda. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS. Tim Brando along with Mike Jeminski and Heather Cox. And Jamie Dixon, you look at the, some rarefied air. Bill Hodges, by the way, got all the way to the finals against Chud Heath Heathcote in 1979. Decent player he had on that team, yeah, too. He slipped so. my mind. A, a bird, I think. Larry? Uh, yeah. yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Am I on the right track? <laughs> Pretty decent uh, country player, as they say, back in the day. Nice cut and fine by Morantine to the cutter Dexter Lyons. He has seven, averaging... Just under 19 a game. They need to get him on track. Uh, international player, especially the big, so crafty with the pass at the high post. That's a great look by Morantine. Browser over line. Every time you see a quality offensive move made by a guard, the other guard says, you know what, I think it's time for me to make a play. Yep. Just have to guard against making that battle completely personal. Ross with the dump down to Morantine. Sweeping hook, and the Spaniard gets the kind iron. Talk about throwback, and in, uh, in the game film, you could put that on black and white, and it would look right at home. The nice sweeping hook. Not many players in the college game use that anymore. Here's another turnover. Johnson with numbers. Akinowski's in the game. He's down on the low block. Bit of a designated screener for Ross as he roams the baseline. Quarantine on tap. Falling away this time. It's 
Cap pulls down the rebound. Double figures and boards for the freshman now. Hasn't had a great offensive game, but it's been a presence on the other end of the floor. Timeout. Pitt's lead is three. Not quite six minutes gone by here in Milwaukee. Friends, will you take to this year's NCAA Men's Final Four? Look for specially marked packages of Planters. You can win four tickets to Mr. Peanut's luxury suite. Planters, put out the good stuff. Hey, Herman, what's that? It's a server. A server? An on-demand IBM e-server. Can monitor itself, manage itself, optimize itself, protect itself, practically heal itself. How to get here? Maybe it ordered itself. <laughs> Self-optimizing IBM E-Server X-Series with Intel Xeon processors. Well, we looked at the Sienna, but we got the Kia Sedona instead. It was 2300 less and has a 10-year warranty. Your Sienna's got that, right? No. And I got three years free maintenance. Can you believe that? You got free maintenance? Uh, are you okay? Dare to compare a Kia Sedona before you buy. With a five-star safety rating, a 10-year warranty, and now for a limited time, get three years free maintenance. When you add it all up, there's no comparison. I just finished a master's degree in philosophy, and I'm interested in a career in education to promote literacy in children and adults. This is what I, I will dedicate my life to once I find a job. <laughs> Monster, today's the day. From Enterprise because having the right car or truck makes all the difference. Sweetheart, your honeydew list just got a little bit longer. Sorry. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Who says the president dropped the ball on terrorism to go to war in Iraq? One of his own former White House advisors. Sunday on 60 Minutes. Pittsburgh leading by three. Wednesday on CBS, Survivor is on a special night. What's gotten into the All-Stars that's making them so wacky? Don't miss Survivor All-Stars on a very special night. Wednesday, 8, 7 Central on CBS, America's most watched network. Out of the timeout, it's Paige along with Krauser. Tori Morris is coming to the game. McCarroll. And Jerron Brown on the floor for Pittsburgh. Shot clock at five. Page forced to take it. And as prevails continue from the floor, he just cannot buy a basket. He's one out of nine tonight. Ross. Bang. Three-point shooter Robert Ross. That's his specialty, Tim. 46% on the year. Take it wherever you can get it. Absolutely. In this game, <laughs> anywhere points come from. And Kirk Sparrow trying to play the role of conductor. Getting his crowd involved. Even the Wisconsin Badger contingent uh, becoming a part of the Golden Knights congregation. Well, at least Pitt's not going to run away from you and hide offensively. But uh, what UCF has done is they've made this a 13-minute game. Bowser nearly lost it and walked. And credit Dexter Lyons for causing that turnover. Well, not, not only our first team all A son, but the defensive player of the year in that league, the quick hands coming in and getting the turnover. And Carl Krauser has had a tough evening handling the basketball. I think it's important to note that some of these players like uh, Dexter Lyons have been winners. You know, you, you get junior college players, but you get guys that are accustomed to winning. Lions won two mid-Florida conference titles at Daytona Beach Community College. San Jacinto, of course, is another outstanding junior college. Ross again. First lead after the first tie. I think all of a sudden now uh, Mr. Ross has popped up on the radar screen for Pitt. 
Zoom crowds are answers. Usually he takes it personally. No, Troutman pushing off. Siobhan shoved on against Bakanowski. Robert Ross, we talked about it, a season high, 19 against Campbell. Four of seven from three in that game, so he is a capable shooter. Boy, has he injected life into a team that needed it desperately here in the second half. Trotman forced to sit. That's his fourth foul. Taft back into the game. Morris also sits down. As Antonio Graves, the freshman, back in the game. Number 22 in white for Pittsburgh. They're on an 8 nothing run in the last three minutes. Pittsburgh's only three points coming in the last seven minutes. That's amazing when you think about it. Only three points in the last seven minutes? That's hard to believe. And sometimes you begin to wonder. Uh, Kirk Spiro is obviously a quality coach. These are guys that come from different backgrounds, mixed and matched. Not many uh, McDonald's or Parade All-Americans uh, with uh, with his team. But at the same time, Pittsburgh, after hearing and talking so much about having to come here in the anticipated matchup with Wisconsin, Sometimes it's mind over matter. Uh, and it's chemistry. You yeah. throw a ball into the pot and uh, see what see what happens. Right. That's why you got to play the game, boys. We'll be back. Hitman Jimmy the Tulip is sensitive. I just vacuumed this rug. I need your help. Oz is scared. You're afraid of everything, Oz. That is so not true. You are a nitwit, Oz. Laszlo is mad. me. And Jill is glad. Why don't we go out and kill somebody tonight? Wow. Bruce Willis, Matthew Perry, the whole 10 yards. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, April 9th. If a lazy moment turns into the right moment, will you be ready? Introducing Cialis, the first tablet for erectile dysfunction that gives you up to 36 hours to choose the moment that's right for you and your partner. New Cialis goes to work fast and can work for up to 36 hours. Cialis is not for everyone. If you take nitrates for chest pain or certain alpha blockers for prostate problems or high blood pressure, do not take Cialis. Such combinations could cause a sudden unsafe drop in blood pressure. Don't drink alcohol in excess with Cialis. The most common side effects were headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. Erections lasting longer than four hours, though rare, require immediate medical help. Discuss your health status with your doctor to ensure Cialis is right for you and you are healthy enough for sexual activity. Ask your doctor if a free sample of prescription Cialis is right for you. 36-hour Cialis. When the moment is right, will you be ready? I forbid you to have anything to do with my sister. What are you going to do, Judith? Divorce me? Marry me again and then divorce me? A new Two and a Half Men, CBS Monday. Central Florida leads by three here in Milwaukee. Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski, Heather Cox, 32-29. Interesting, uh, the guy, the spark who has lifted this team out of the ball game now for UCF, Robert Ross. A couple of big threes to come in and give them a three-point lead. And they've gone to Josh Peppers, Bakanowski on that uh, front line along with Morantine. Kingsley Edwards, number 10, out there with Dexter Lyons in the backcourt. Off the dribble drive, Krauser gets it. Carl with a duck under, off the bounce, gets it to fall. Very important play, obviously, for Jamie Dixon. Coming out of the timeout, a little more aggressive toward the end of the shot clock against the zone, using dribble penetration and pump fakes to get inside.
Lions gets the contact. Bodies on the floor. Bakanowski, one of them. A Pittsburgh Panther also on the deck. And it appears that he's having some difficulty getting up. That's Carroll. Carroll, yeah. On the drive to the basket by Lyons, this will be his first trip to the free throw line. Getting to the right hand side, McCarroll just late coming in. Looks like he got a knee to the midsection. Yeah, sure did. And uh, Jamie Dixon coming out to take a look at uh, McCarroll. Always the sixth man, uh, an offensive spark at times. Originally signed with Syracuse. One of those uh, great role players for this uh, Pittsburgh team that claimed the regular season Big East title. When you think of the NCAA tournament story tonight, the Big East had been unbeaten at one five straight before losing, actually four straight, and then Providence went down to Pacific, the alma mater of Heather Cox, and the game is over. That I think we're going to hear about that before the night is out. Positively euphoric <laughs> since yeah. that moment. It appears that McCarroll is going to be okay. Now, you're about to see one of the most unique free throw shooting styles ever. Now, I'm just going to tell you what's about to happen, and then we'll tell you the story later. Ten dribbles, because his birthday is in October, he and his cousins. Ball will be in his right hand. He'll slap it, and he'll also do a little left leg Michael Jackson maneuver right there. And you can count them. Whatever works. Whatever works. <laughs> the routine is the thing at the free throw line. I would give the I would deliver the he he, but I, I just can't go there now. Too little, too little late. <laughs> it. It's an ode to Michael Jackson. And you could say in the first half, uh, the offense was in Neverland. <laughs> But it's become a thriller. Yes, it has. 34-31. Why they pay us? We have to tell these stories from time to time. <laughs> Rouser with the dump down the tap. Hey, yeah, Graves can beat you on uh, the dribble drive as well. He can create open spots for Krauser. Browser a little 360 hang and he gets the contact will get to the line. Josh Peppers picks up the foul his second freshman out of Whitehaven High School in Memphis Tennessee. That's a great little shot for a guard. He hits that floater in the lane very tough to block. Browser very strong inside actually they turned him away from using the screen over the top so he took what the defense gave him and got into the middle. He has 12 tonight, three out of five from beyond the arc. Bakanowski leaves the game. Botten back in. Robert Ross re enters, and Pepper sits down. That kind of shot, that kind of maneuver by Krauser exemplifies what we were talking about earlier, Mike, that so many young guards could learn a lot from just the decision making that Carl Krauser exhibits. It just gives them so much, and it's, a, it's such a great crutch to have in your offense with a guard who can, at the end of the shot clock, make that type of play. Here's Ross, who's hit those two big threes to give Central Florida the lead. Morantine, nice move. 14 in the game for the Spaniard. That's what you want to do for a, a shot blocker like Taft. Get him going, get him to bite on the pump fake, and it was a beautiful up and under move. Can you see in the eyes that uh, the UCF players are gathering more confidence? Browser, quarantine the rebound. Kingsley Edwards looks to push. Browser really up in Edwards' face. Shot clock winding down, Edwards. At the top, initiates with 10 left. Morantine's got to take it up. Not there. McCarroll the rebound. And you can feel the Wisconsin crowd really beginning to side with the lower seed from Orlando. Browser has it knocked away, and it's deflected. 
Another outstanding defensive play by the Atlantic Sun Defensive Player of the Year, Dexter Lines. Solid job just continuing to move his feet. Slide, slide, then a little quick hand and hit it off his hip. Sounds like a Michael Jackson song. Yeah. Slide, slide, it's everybody slide. <laughs> and right now, Central Florida hoping to slide into the second round. So you've seen the car. What do you think? I'm going to show you a figure. And let me know if we can make it happen. Yeah. We can do that. It's Mazda's Spring into Motion sales event. Get huge savings on a huge selection of 2004 Mazdas. Get up to 2500 cash back or choose 0.0% APR financing for 60 months, plus a $500 bonus through Mazda American Credit Financing. See your Mazda dealer for a test drive. Mazda's Spring into Motion sales event ends March 31st. Kirk Spiro is such an outstanding young coach, but you think about it, a veteran, 11 years at the Orlando School. They've been averaging 80 points per outing. I mean, they have just been an outstanding offensive team, Central Florida, up until tonight when they were held in check. Only 18 points at halftime. Only 40 scored combined by both teams. That's seven under the minimum in the first round games in the 2004 NCAA tournament. But they uh, caught fire when Robert Ross came into the game at a pair of threes. And now Dexter Lyons, who is clearly the leader offensively and defensively for the Golden Knights, has uh, really ignited this team to give them this three-point lead. And you have to like the turnaround there for Carl Krauser, who gave up the turnover on the last possession and then came back and get it, got it defensively the very next time. The mega matchup that everyone has been anticipating for Sunday between the three seed Pittsburgh and the six seed Wisconsin. Many of those Badger fans are still here scouting out uh, the Panthers. But both Richmond and UCF had off have offered a very stiff challenge. Krauser, three out of six in the second half, has 12 on the night. 12 in the second half, I beg your pardon. 15 overall. And Krauser trying to get through the pick is called for the push. I think the one difference if you look at that last game, the way Wisconsin came back, all that offensive firepower, I don't know that Pitt can put something like that on the floor for a 10 or 15 minute stretch. I think they were riding the wave of emotion from the crowd. I, if ever there were a game that would be exhibit A for having a a home court advantage even though you're not playing in your hometown that second half comeback would be it offensive rebound for UCF it has gotten better my senior year we played Kentucky at Rupp Arena oh, yeah. in the mid regional semifinals that was a little partisan, if I remember correctly. Yes, that ended actually in 1986. They ruled out having home courts per se after the 86 season. Kentucky actually uh, beat Illinois in 84 at home on uh, en route to making it to Seattle. Wisconsin Badger fans beginning to rise to attention. Here at the Bradley Arena in Milwaukee, UCF had never tied or led this game until three minutes ago. And uh, Dexter Lands and Roberto Morantine have put on a show inside and out. Two seniors for Kirk Sparrow's Golden Knights. And they lead by one with just over eight minutes left. Convention floor getting behind the state of Florida right now. <laughs> Page cannot connect. And he's going to he's, he's starting to jump shoot his team out of this game. He continues to pull the trigger and has not been knocking down shots. One of ten now. Lions with a little show. Too strong. Morantine trying to knock it away from Taft. But the freshman saves it. Eleven rebounds for him. I can see why Taft has gotten the accolades he has offensively a non-factor but always collects the rebounds he gets a quiet number of them on the offensive boards browser that was a flop good no call 
Page again. And the iron really unkind to him. There's Taft. On the glass, loose ball in the scrum. Will go UCF's way. 7.09 left. Can it happen? A 14 seed beat a three. Stay tuned. We shall see. Dear Direct TV, your customer service people answer the phone quickly, solve my issues, and are extraordinarily knowledgeable. If I were still single and Direct TV were a woman, I'd marry you. <laughs> Thanks again, Jason Steve. <laughs> Sounds like Jason's confused. <laughs> Get over 125 channels for $29.99 a month for six months, plus equipment and installation for up to three rooms free. So, your new friend is cold filtered? I'm sorry, I thought you liked smooth beer. This isn't about me. That's right, it's not. It's about me and my beer. What happened to your old beer? We all got along. I well, like it. Why you drink it, Dad? Did you ever think I might need flavor and smoothness? Who's up for more? I don't need to listen to this! I've tried it. It's good. Without new ideas. If we always did things the way they were done before, where would we be if everyone followed and no one led? Sunday. You look at our game summary and Mike Jaminski, who made a living in the paint, 20 to 6 Central Florida, and Roberto Morantine has clearly been the difference. A little shocking in that Pitt operates in the paint so much and relies on a lot of their offense. Their uh, UCF able to take them out of that. Roberto Morantine stepping up big. But I think, you know, you look at it, Tim, for, for Pitt. If they're going to get back in this and they've got uh, Troutman back in the game, who's a reliable scorer, I think they've got to put the ball in John Brown's hands. He, he has been very quiet on this night. He's a double-figure scorer, only one point. He really makes a lot of plays in the half court. He's 0 for 3 tonight. And you're right, not many touches. I think Page is trying to shoot himself out of the slump, and as you said, he may be shooting his team out of the tournament. Baden gives it up to Morantine. Face up, will not go down. Jerron Brown the rebound. The Central Florida crowd trying to get the Wisconsin fans back on their side again. Browser working on Lions. Morris not there. Morantine the rebound. Hey, you think about the guard on guard play that we've seen tonight, particularly Dobbins and his defensive job done in game one against Devin Harris. Watching the play of both of the guards, certainly Krauser and Lyons, mano a mano, has been fun in the second half. Right now, the pitching is ahead of hitting in this little yeah. section of the world. <laughs> now, spring training just yeah. underway. The defense is always ahead of offense, too. That's right. That's another sport as well. We'll be back. Sometimes in the face of insurmountable odds, unlikely heroes are born. As precious seconds ticked away, you took an impossible amount of data and turned it into something impossibly good. You have the new Microsoft Office system. Victory is yours.
Central Florida leads by one over Pittsburgh. 545 remaining in an NCAA tournament that has featured highly competitive but highly predictable outcomes with the higher seeds generally coming out on top. UCF trying to buck that stat tonight. Lions can't hit. Ross tries to follow. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Golden Knights. And Pittsburgh shooting a paltry 28% from the floor. Even worse from downtown. And Troutman has to be careful. He looked a little frustrated on that play, but he's got to massage four fouls through the last 5.33. Yeah. Early in the game without Siobhan Troutman, it really would have been a long night. There's a steal. Maybe that's why he's out there. That will be a block and a key call with Troutman playing with four. Bodden picks up the foul. Count the basket. That's the fourth on Bodden. Well, first here, going for it, walking that tightrope, going for the steal there, and then deciding to take it all the way in. Bodden just never really got set in front of him. You see how quickly his head turned when he heard the whistle? Yeah, all right. Where's the, which way is this going? Five of five from the floor on the night. Interestingly, just his first attempt in the second half. But not a lot of court time because of those four fouls. Doesn't convert again. Pittsburgh struggling at the line. Brown nearly came up with the offensive rebound. Look at that. UCF dry again for the last four and a half minutes, but they went through a similar drought in the first half and survived. That's, a, that's the second four-minute drought they've had in this game. Quarantine working on tap. Nice touch pass to Botton. Lions tries to keep it alive. Browser and Page finally retrieve it. And I believe Page lost a shoe. Brown a pull up. Botton clears for UCF. Just as Page is able to get his shoe back on, Central Florida back on the other end. Remember, Ross is a dangerous three point shooter. Hit two key threes to give UCF their first lead of the night. And Morantine off the entry pass is fouled. Wave it off. Foul will go against Chris Taft. Well, the last 14 seed to win. Weber State, the show, Harold Arsenal back in. 99 against North Carolina. And that's if, uh, you know, Kirk Sparrow, if you've asked him, <laughs> give me a one point game here with four and a half minutes to go. Uh, yep. I think he'd take that 10 times out of 10 against this ball club. One of the more memorable 14s to win was uh, Tennessee Chattanooga back in uh, 1997. Mac McCarthy was the coach of that team at the time, and they went on to uh, win in the second round and get to the Sweet 16 actually pushed Arizona as the uh, Cats were on their way to the national championship. Tied at 37 with 430 in county. Browser, a little stop and go. Tapped all over the glass. Stays with it, gets it, and one. And Botten has his fifth. Pittsburgh with a two-point lead. The outstanding freshman Chris Taft with a putback. And the foul went against Avant rather than Botten. And that is very important because that would have been the fifth on Josh Botten, who's the senior that they really need on the floor. Half converts the three-point play, only a 54% shooter, Tim, but 12 rebounds on the game for Taft, none bigger than that offensive stick back to give his team a little breathing room. It has been a grinder, kind of style that Pittsburgh is accustomed to playing, but perhaps did not believe in the uh, kind of challenge that this uh, resilient Golden Knights team from the Atlantic Sun Conference could deliver. Robert Ross, 47% three-point shooter, back on the floor. It's been tight all the way through. Here's Botten. Gives it up to Morantine, and he's fouled. And this could be critical 
It appears to be Taft that's guilty, which is important because Siobhan Troutman is playing with four fouls. Three on Taft. Warranteen that time, a good solid base, and Taft uh, pushed off with his hand. Effort to get a little leverage inside. Roberto Morantin. Another of the many junior college transfers on this team. Spiro is making some defensive for offensive substitutions, which is pretty interesting with this much time left in the game. You see Marcus Avent coming back into the game and Ross, the three-point shooter, leaving the game. You know, Tim, the margin of error has been so thin, though, that uh, you have to start making these moves early. And Morantin, a couple of big misses. He's an 80% shooter, but missed his last two out of three. You got to get them all. There's Kurt's jerks. We told you they existed. What a name. Hey, LeBron. Oh, what up, Thurs? Brother, how about a toy your new crib? Oh, come on in. This is my bedroom? Right, right. King size water bed. Game room. Plasma screen, blah, blah, blah. And this is the kitchen. Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't. Crisp, clean, ice cold, lemon, lime, Sprite. Oh, is that your fingertips? Check it out. <laughs> you crying? It's just so beautiful. Show up, my motto. Can a brother get a minute? I think I figured out what I want to do with my life. Yeah, that is. Help people and be incredibly successful. Okay. If I gave 100 people a shot at a decent life, mm -hmm. then they'd be successful. And that makes me successful. Hmm. Sounds like a nice plan. Someone's hiring for that? Somebody once said, Everyone will get 15 minutes of fame. Some insurance companies seem to think that that's all you need. But at Allstate, they think 15 minutes may not be enough. That's why they'll take as much time as you need so you can make sure your insurance coverage is right. You deserve more time in the spotlight. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? see our game reset it's very important to note because Pittsburgh struggles so mightily at the free throw line that from this point forward they'll get two shot opportunities they'll be in the double bonus after the next team foul is committed Jamie Dixon's team the Big East regular season champions losing that late game to Connecticut many people believe that was the difference in a one seed or a three for them dropping all the way to the th three seed here in Wisconsin. Carl Krauser leading this uh, Pittsburgh offense that has been behind much of the way in the second half. A very close game. Almost matching the score, the offensive output in the first half. 40 points scored between the two then. Tap, the freshman can't get it to fall. Jerron Brown on the offensive boards. Tapped out by Morantine. A very big play. Out to Johnson. And Jerron Brown cannot believe it. Right there on the offensive glass now. 0 of 5 in the game. The number of uh, perimeter shooters that have struggled. I mean, it's really incredible. Krauser with a near pick. Out of bounds, last touch by Krauser. Dixon felt it had been deflected, as did his guard, but it will go the other way. Page 1 of 11 from the floor. Brown 0 for 4. Krauser 4 of 13. Yeah, it was uh, off of Charlie Range, but no one else. And this is a team that shoots 48% from the field on the season. So a terrific defensive effort by UCF. I mean, between those three, we're talking 5 of 28 from the floor for Pitt. 18%. Johnson, a runner with the clock winding down, and it's pulled down by Tad. Pittsburgh, as usual, relying on its defense for stops. Only 28% as a team, as you mentioned, 48% uh, on the season. Much like Boston College, they thrive on shot selection to win. Page for three. At long last, the drought ends. That's the 207th career three-pointer, which is fourth all-time. At bed, only two behind uh, Brandon Knight. 
Jason Matthews and Sean Miller. More importantly, it's his first all-time tonight. Yeah. He needed that desperately. All-time, big time, and really the right time. I pull for the underdog. I yell at the coaches, blast oh, the refs. On. I pray, curse, cry. I will drop down on my knees and beg for a three-pointer from half court. Play your way to the NCAA Final Four with Singular. You can be entered weekly for a trip for two every time you send and receive a text, instant, or a multimedia message, and every time you download games and ringtones. The more you do, the better your chances. Yeah, baby. Play your way to the NCAA Final Four. Another way Singular fits you best. Take a look at our CBS Sportsline stat of the game, and it pretty much tells you the story of the 37-plus uh, minutes we've played. Get complete tournament coverage at CBSSportsline.com. Free shot clock numbers. <laughs> 43-38. Outstanding defensive region. We knew that coming into tonight's play with the... Uh, Three of the four teams in the top ten and points allowed, field goal shooting allowed, and all four in the top 24. Certainly Jerry Wainwright's team did a remarkable job defending Wisconsin for at least 28 minutes. And then the explosion began. Lions for three, falling away. And again, Jerron Brown got out there to check him quickly. An air ball and the bump by Johnson against Krauser. And that will get him to the free throw line for two. And maybe Jerron Brown's offensive game has been affected by the job that he's done on Dexter Lyons so far. The winner to take on Wisconsin, the highly anticipated and much talked about second round matchup. One of the better 3 6 oh. games you'll see. And I think we'll create a lot of conversation around this year's NCAA tournament. Much more so, really, when you think about it, than Texas and Mississippi State did um, a couple of years back when Mississippi State was a three seed, played Texas a six in Dallas. Everyone knew that uh, the fans of the Longhorns would be in great number. I remember Rick Stansberry talking about it at great length. But Jamie Dixon's credit has not made a big deal out of it at all. We just got to play with the hand that we've been dealt. Ross, well, he hit two to help give UCF a lead. Comes up empty this time. Still a two-possession game. Kirk Spiro looking to go full court, try to create some pressure. He gets Avant back in the game. The nature of the jump shot changes, though, Tim, uh, at the 10-minute mark as opposed to the uh, 137 yep. mark with the game on the line. Quick foul given up by Marcus Avant. And I don't think Kirk Spiro wanted it. I got to tell you, this game and th this tournament provides so many outstanding stories, Mike. And 10 years ago, in 1994, the Florida Gators, one year removed from Kirk Spiro's exit to take over in Central Florida, played in their first ever Final Four. And they got there with a couple of outstanding guards, you might recall, Dan Cross and Craig Brown, along with Andrew DeClerc. And uh, they had Demet Hook, Dimitri Hill, you might remember that name, a white body. Well, Craig Brown out of uh, Steelton, Pennsylvania, High Spire High School, was one of the great overachievers and uh, just decided to get into the coaching profession and Kirk Spiro giving him an opportunity. And I told him, as I've told many players in the past, you might not be the overall best player I ever got to call, but you were one of my favorite players. He was just a joy to watch. And it was wonderful running into him yesterday. I know you guys had a good visit uh, at the uh, practice yesterday. He's really what the college game is supposed to be about. And Lon Kruger was there earlier this year in Gainesville when they honored the 10-year anniversary of that first ever Final Four team. Lions, a runner. Not there. On the offensive glass, counted and a foul. Troutman is fifth. Yeah, Avon into the game for defensive purposes, able to get the putback. And that's five on Siobhan Troutman. Good miss, and uh, UCF not going away in this game, getting on the offensive glass. <laughs> Still the willingness to believe. Now we'll see, you know, going down the stretch, uh, 
Kirksboro not wanting that last foul, but uh, is uh, UCF elect to put Pittsburgh at the line in these situations and make them uh, make them convert. You know, Al McGuire, this court's named after him, and I'm watching Avon do something that Al is always always uh, prescribed to, and that is they're going to take a lot of time. There it is. You can't come to Milwaukee and not think of our our dear friend who's uh, left far too soon for all of us at CBS Sports. But Avon is doing something that I always used to talk about during games, and I remember we worked together back in 98, Mike. You've got this long stoppage because the guy's fouled out of the game. The last thing you want to do as a free throw shooter, regardless of your percentage, and Avon's a 58 percenter, don't get to the line until it's time. Don't stand in the ice. Absolutely. Try to ice you, stay out of the ice. 59 percent, though, for Avon. Very important. Now would have been proud of that decision. Yeah, and uh, it didn't look like a 59% no. shooter there. That was a nice stroke. Two possession game. Krauser in control working on Lions. The last 14 seed to beat a three was Weber State with Harold Arsenault in 99. Taking out North Carolina. And a quick timeout taken by Jamie Dixon. 106 left. A five point game. Sometimes in the face of insurmountable odds, unlikely heroes are born. As precious seconds ticked away, you took an impossible amount of data and turned it into something impossibly good. You have the new Microsoft Office system. Victory is yours. 46-41, Pittsburgh leading by five with a minute and six seconds remaining. Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski, Heather Cox. Every one of our games today has been, and tonight, have been very competitive in Milwaukee. So far, the higher seeds have prevailed. See the time on the shot clock for Pitt. Down to 10 for Krauser. Working on Avon. Out to McCarroll. Off the front iron and tapped another big rebound. Boy, Morantine tried to hug him, and finally Roberto does pick up the foul against Page. I think they would have preferred fouling Taft. 54% as opposed to Julius Page, who really has struggled yeah. tonight mightily <laughs> for Pitt from the field, but hit that big three to give them a little yeah. breathing room. And I think Morantine, it, it was almost, if he had been a little more physical, he might have picked up an intentional foul on Taft. Our Chevrolet most valuable players of the game, Roberto Morantine with 16 and 9. Carl Krauser, very consistent as always, turning it on when needed. Three for six from downtown, and uh, those were few and far between for most of the players tonight for either team. And I think what we've seen, Tim, over this last stretch is just Pitt so supremely confident yeah. in their defense that they've been able to really overcome a nightmare offensively. And with the thought in mind that they'll need more in their tank to beat Wisconsin, I think that's probably accurate if the score holds up. Lions trying to do it himself. Dexter does it from downtown, and it's a four-point game. He has 12 with 38 ticks remaining. Golden Knights want to make the night last longer from long range. complete line of over 30 power tools from Rigid that'll seriously outperform what you're using now. With exact line laser precision, batteries that charge in half the time, more torque, and the best warranty in the business. But the attachment that says the most about these tools, the pros who swear by them. Rigid, powerful, durable, professional. Buy them now at the Home Depot. Pittsburgh by four. You see the time remaining. Both teams in the double bonus. The possession arrow to Pittsburgh on a tie ball. Taft and Brown, the two guys you want to foul if you can. Botten picks it up, and he'll get McCarroll to the line, who's 64% on the year. Not a bad choice either. 
We've talked about it many times, uh, Mike, and I, I do believe this, that free throw shooting, the inability to hit shots has become almost an epidemic. And we're going to see it cost one of the higher seeds before this NCAA tournament is done. No, no question. And he just thrown in. There's five on Baden, so they've got a little time to figure out who he's uh, coming in for. Bakanowski will place him. But Tim, you just, you just wonder how much time kids spend shooting free throws. You know, getting in the gym, knocking down 250 in a day, and uh, not understanding the importance of that part of the game. Mark McCarroll had a very big game earlier this year against Georgia that helped turn his game around. This will be his first attempt tonight. That was very weak. Again, circumstances of the game dictating what the shot is and how it looks. Very stiff legged on that attempt. And as a result, flat trajectory and very little chance of getting in. Yeah. Our friend Al McGuire would have said, you got to bend your knees, son. <laughs> a little bit better flex that time. 49-44, two-possession game and an unforced error by Johnson and Morantine. Couldn't connect. Now they'll have to foul again. Wow. No, just the lack of concentration. Gary Johnson looking up the floor, trying to survey what was ahead of him and dribbled the ball off his foot. Page in traffic. Trying to play keep away. The foul will go against Lions. Lions picking up his first. He's got many to give. And that'll put Brown at the line. Vanderbilt a big winner today over Western Michigan a lot of people anticipated a, an upset there I know Mike and uh, that's a team that plays very similarly to North Carolina State a lot of backdoor cuts with Kevin Stallings his team open inside some good outside shooters 3G Shipashevsky making a difference in that game this is important Makes it a three possession game. Mario Moore in that game had 28. A real difference maker for the Commodores. There's Lions for three. Krauser runs it down. And the quick foul given up with 19.4 left. And the Wisconsin fans uh, got their scouting report. Central Florida fans beginning to give their team a nice ovation. Quality attempt, uh, but once again, the team in the lighter jersey apparently moving on. Well, very similar scenarios as you talked about, Tim. The, 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 the higher seed comes in, gains a, a, a bunch of respect early, knocking down jump shots, and confidence stays in the game, but uh, over time, the, the strengths of their opponents uh, eventually wear them down. I tell you, there's a game that I've circled uh, for tomorrow. Lead is nine after Krauser puts that free throw down. The game I've circled for tomorrow, it's Stanford and Alabama. I think that's going to be a fun game to watch. Lions with the dump down to Bakanowski. Johnson can't connect. Time winding down. And the Golden Knights are going to come up empty with a magnificent performance in defeat, don't you think? No, no question about it. I mean, Kirk Spiro and his team, a lot to be proud of against the very, very tough Pittsburgh team, especially on the defensive end. And for Pittsburgh, an opportunity at Wisconsin, the much ballyhooed, probably most anticipated second round game. No, I, no question about it. And uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, what whole sway. We're talking about two very good defensive teams. All right, for Mike Jaminski, Heather Cox. Tim. All right, Tim, thank you.